I'm trying to see. I don't. I don't know if 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 it's anything from you know from my actions. I've I've always been surrounded by a great team, and you know, B Cox and myself, we had an amazing manager in Chris Hicks. There were a lot of sessions that that possibly would not have happened if if he had not been so tenacious about getting us in the rooms uh, with certain people. So you know. Um, Aaliyah and uh, and Mary J. Blige uh, are, are two that really come to mind of, you know, Chris Hicks just being so adamant that we deserve to be in those rooms and that we had something special to to offer. Um, so, yeah, I, I can't really think of anything that that I pulled together. I've, I've been very blessed to have a, a solid team and, uh, and and that always helps, man. You got to have a solid team. Uh, for me, you know, um, Troy Taylor always says this, and well, and a lot of people, um, you know, so it's two things that I do that I can think of. Like, I, I just like write in my head. And so I'll have the, um, you know, when we were working on uh, on Mary, uh, she was just like, wait a minute, the song's done. And like, you know, I'm sitting there having an entire conversation with everyone. Like, you know, I'm participating in the conversation while the beat is playing. You know, and then I'll just be like, okay, I got it. They're like, wait a minute, hold on. You were just sitting here talking. Like, what do you mean? You've been right this whole time. As far as technique, um, Troy always is, he thinks it's crazy how I, I do backgrounds first. So even like if I have intricate backgrounds and the verses and they're call and response, you know, backgrounds, I do the backgrounds first. And so a lot of times it's like holes and it's like a word here or three words here. And it's like, okay, how is this all gonna make sense? And then when I do the lead after I've done the backgrounds, it's like, oh, wow, it makes sense. But most people would have done the lead first and then done the backgrounds after. But yeah, I, so I go backgrounds. I, I'm in reverse, <laughs> I do backgrounds first and then do the, do the leads. You know, sometimes the sessions that I'm just kind of like a, a fly on the wall like so i think you know watching um, no id um you know just being in the room when when jay-z was working on the american gangsta album and uh you know myself and jd and no id and ty ty was in there jay-z is in there and you know we're all talking we're watching clips of the movie various conversations are going on and then um you know no id takes his headphones off and He's done an entire beat in his headphones and, you know, and it was say hello. It was the say hello to the bad guy. They say I'm a bad guy. And, you know, and then so he, you know, Hove hears the beat. You know, it's like, oh, that's crazy. And then, you know, with like in 20 seconds has that, you know, say he has the hook and, you know, and, and goes in and, and, and lays that down. Um, and then I don't know if people know, like Jermaine didn't produce that song, but the in-betweens, the say hello, hello, like that's Jermaine on No ID's track, you know, and he just heard it and they were like, yo, go in there and do that and put that down. Um, so yeah, that was like a memorable experience to just see that kind of, I mean, No ID, obviously the, the lineage that comes from him, you know, Kanye West and Common and all these guys out of Chicago that, you know, that he helped guide and nurture, you know, early on. And then, um, you know, Jermaine Dupree who has been my, you know, mentor and um, who's, who's guided me. And obviously Jay-Z to so just kind of see that greatness come together and, you know, just real creative moment, man. It's like, wow, this is, this is awesome. We're witnessing something great.